You guys know we cover a lot of leaks and rumors at the channel, and there are times that these leaks are absolutely true, even over on places like 4chan, but it's hard to know what's real and what's not. And the story we have for you today is so unbelievable that it actually takes a common meme and makes it reality, folks. Imagine that your uncle worked at Nintendo. Your dad worked at Nintendo. Remember, we always have those jokes out there about, well, my uncle works at Nintendo. My dad were, you know, a lot of fake leakers out there over the past few, few decades. I always claim my uncle, my dad. And oftentimes we just take it as a joke that a family member works at Nintendo and they told me a blah, 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 blah. You know, my dad is Doug Bowser. And well, how about a story of an actual Nintendo leak? Where this was true, dug up by Did You Know Gaming. <laughs> Can't believe we're going over this. We're going to use Nintendo Life's breakdown of the story here. Uh, as you're seeing, fighters from Smash Bros. for 3DS were leaked by a former Nintendo of America's employee's child. Spoiler warning, that employee was fired. Let's get into how this happened. So in August of 2014... Photos and videos of Super Smash Bros. for 3DS were leaked online, demonstrating evidence of unannounced fighters. The leaks were seemingly confirmed following a copyright strike from Nintendo of America before being proven irrefutably real upon the game's eventual release later that year. Since then, the origins of the leaks have remained shrouded in mystery, but thanks to some diligent digging from Did you know Gaming's Liam Robertson, we now have a better idea of what happened. According to Robertson, the leaked footage was captured by an employee of Nintendo of America for analysis by the Entertainment Software Ratings Board. The footage didn't come from the ESRB itself, thanks to the stringent security measures taken by the firm, but rather by the Nintendo of America employee's child. The details of how the child gained access to the footage remain unclear, but a former Nintendo of America staff member believes that Nintendo's intranet service may have been accessed by the individual using a device belonging to their parent. Although the original leaker had then intended to keep the photos and footage within an exclusive tight-knit group of online friends, Word spread and it eventually wound up being posted to the image board website 4chan. Naturally, Nintendo of America was able to trace the leak back to its origins and the employee was promptly fired. <sighs> we'll have a link down to that article and the actual video from Digino Gaming that goes over a bunch of gaming leak history facts and stuff. Guys, this is a uh, this is a little insane to me. Uh we, we, for all the times we've actually made this joke, it's so weird that it was actually true in the case of those 2014 Smash leaks. And you guys might not even remember what those leaks were. I wasn't really doing YouTube content seriously back then, so it wasn't something I covered. But, man, it's insane to me. And, and it's not, it's always a nice reminder like when people tell us, ignore 4chan leaks or ignore this or ignore that, that every now and then there are just legitimate stuff that pops up at these places. And I... Like, I, I got to feel for the, the, the employee who got let go. Clearly, you know, I have children, and I'm not going to sit here and pretend my children never get access to my devices. I try to keep everything on lockdown and multiple passwords and all of this stuff, but children are clever. They're very clever. And if they know their dad happens to work at a job that has information that they want, maybe they're going to be checking out their dad's stuff more often than maybe even the father realizes. I, I'm assuming the father was able to land on his feet and get a job somewhere else because he didn't leak it on purpose. It was his child and yada yada. And Well, Nintendo of America took the steps it did to prevent other leaks. It, it is unfortunate, but man, I, I never thought an actual story of my dad works at Nintendo would actually be a real story. So thank you so much to Liam Robertson and, you know, the gaming history people over there at Did you know Gaming for this, just this fascinating tidbit I wanted to share with you guys today. <sighs> thank you guys so much for being here. Uh, I'm actually working on a website for you guys, NintendoPrime.net, where we're going to have our stories uh, news and stuff going up over there. Some stuff we cover on our channel, some stuff we don't. This story is going to be over there. 
Uh, just for your guys' reference and perusal, if you want, it's still being built, so you might go there and see some stuff and some weird wonky things going on. We're working on the website. Hopefully, we'll have it done before Christmas. We'll, we'll see what happens. All right, guys. Thank you for being here. We'll catch you in the next video.